I trust that you will find tonight's message a very practical one. Because today, there are so many reading the paper and believing what they see and what they hear on radio and TV. With the depression and the recession and this, that and the other. Now tonight, let me tell you who you are. We're told in scripture, this is the 19th chapter, the 26th verse of Matthew. With God, all things are possible. Then we are told in the earliest gospel, the book of Mark, the ninth chapter, the 23rd verse. All things are possible to him who believes. Divine imagining has no restrictions placed upon it. Human imagining has one restriction placed upon it. To believe. All things are possible to him who believes. So they equate man, he's speaking of you, with God. But on this level, it is believing. Can you believe it? There is no other limitation other than man's capacity to believe what he has imagined. All things are possible to him who believes. So the only restriction placed upon man is his ability to believe what his reason, what his senses deny. That's all. No other restriction. Now I'll turn to the 115th Psalm. And here, I think the whole vast world has been guilty of this. The psalmist claims, our God is in the heavens. Their idols are made. First of all, our God is in the heavens. And he does what he pleases. No matter what it is, he does what he pleases. Their idols are made with human hands of silver and gold. They have voices, but they speak not. Or rather, they have mouths, but they speak not. And eyes that do not see. They have ears that do not hear and they have hands that do not feel and feet that do not walk and there is no sound from their throats those who make them are like them and those who believe in them are like them to believe in anything outside of yourself as the cause of the phenomena of life you're believing in something made with the human hand I don't care what you call it now who is this God who does as he pleases that is equated with man well you try to think of anything other than your own wonderful human imagination our God is in the heavens and we are told that heaven is within you in the 17th chapter of the book of Luke that God is within you if he is within me what in me does anything that it pleases nothing but my imagination I can imagine anything in the world the most incredible thing I can imagine but as man one condition is imposed upon me I must believe it if I can persuade myself of the reality of that which I have imagined, no power in the world can stop it from coming to pass. Man creates his objective world out of imagination and faith. These are the substances out of which he actually projects and objectifies his world. There is nothing but God. And God is man's own wonderful human imagination. Man is all imagination. And God is man. And exists in us. And we in him. 
the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself so divine imagining yes it's instantaneous but when it's keyed low into the human form then there is one condition imposed upon it can I believe it? so I now come to the point of faith what is faith? Faith is the subjective appropriation of the objective hope. So I have a hope. I would like to be this, that, or the other in this world. Or I would like someone, a friend of mine, to be this, that, or the other. Now I must appropriate it subjectively. I go down in my imagination and I simply conceive a scene which would imply that it's true. And I appropriate it. How do I appropriate a scene? I create a scene which would imply that it is true. Bring in the individual or friends before me, and I can have friends tell me, have you heard the good news? And I will act as though I didn't. No, what is the good news? Have you heard the news about, and they mention my friend, and I listen eagerly to what they're telling me about my friend. I'm appropriating subjectively my objective hope all I have to do then is to persist in that state as Shakespeare said in his Antony and Cleopatra it hath been taught us from the primal state that that which is was wished until it were but he used the pronoun he but you can use it of anything in this world but he said that, that he which, that wishing the being to come into being, but you can wish it for a home, a place, or anything in the world. You need not confine it to a friend. That he which is was wished until he were. You can make it it, or there, or anything else in the world. It's simply from the very beginning, the primal wish was simply to so give myself to a state that I lost myself in the state and I remain in that state until the state became objectified within my world. This is what the Bible is teaching everyone in this world.